Hey y'all, this video is of a Evergill model refrigerator out of a camper. This camper is the MPG 3100 bunkhouse, but they use this model in a lot of different campers. And what I've noticed online is a lot of people talking about their water is pooling down in the bottom of the refrigerator and causing a lot of water damage and everything inside their camper so i googled and i found some vague answers on how to fix the issue but not really a whole lot of real in-depth videos or helpful tips so i decided to make a video first thing you're going to want to do is there's four screws across the top and the bottom of your refrigerator holding it into the cabinet. You're gonna to want to remove those from the top and bottom and pull your refrigerator out and sit it on the ground where you can work on it. Okay, you can see here where my refrigerator was pulling water into the bottom and it was running out and dripping onto my cabinet and swole up this trim piece right here and damaged it. So I've got to replace this once I get this issue resolved. But once you get your screws out of your refrigerator and removed from the cabinet, be very careful pulling it out because it will have wires connected to the back and you do want to make sure your camper is disconnected from 12 volt power before you do this. Make sure there's no power going to this refrigerator. But once you get it out, sit it on the ground, you'll have to remove this grate. I've already got all these wires and everything disconnected. I just got it setting up here so I can show you but you'll have this grate on here that's got four wires running to it. You got two blue here on top and two blue coming into the bottom. Go ahead and disconnect those wires. And I recommend taking a picture of this just so you'll know how everything goes back. And then pull this grate away. Like I said, mine's already disconnected. I've just got it sitting up here. Pull that grate back, set it to the side then you will have this tray that is inside here held on with two screws and this black wire is running through that so you have to be very careful it's another thing disconnect these two green wires you have to get them out of the way so you can get this tray out but once you get those wires disconnected get these screws off very carefully lift this black thing from these little clips right here and pull this tray out of the way. Once you get that removed, you'll have access to the drain hole that is at the bottom right here. Where my finger's at, covering it up. You see it right there. That is where the water is supposed to run out into that tray and then the condenser blows hot air on the tray and evaporates the water. But Mine was clogged like most of yours probably is. So once you get all that out of the way on the back side, then come around to the front. Come into your refrigerator. And up top, you will have this panel. There's one screw holding it on. That'll be in that hole right there. And then there's three wires that are connected. So be careful whenever you drop this panel down, you'll have to disconnect those three wires and get it out of your way. And you'll notice this tray here, it catches the water from the coils that are in your freezer compartment up here. And then it runs out this tube in the back that goes through that hole in the back of the refrigerator. And then down the drain tube that comes out on the back side. Well, what I found with mine is this inside that drain hole was plugged with all this expandable foam that they use to insulate and seal everything. 
So what you'll have to do is run something down into that hole and break up that expandable foam so your water can drain out. I seen online somebody had mentioned using weed eater string. I tried it, but it was not stiff enough to actually get the hole started to unplug the foam. So what I done was I got a wire coat hanger and I straightened it out and I come around and went through the bottom side first. I come around to the back. I ran this up into the bottom of the hole. And once I got up here to the top, of course it was blocked off and I just kept ramming it in there and poking and I started seeing the expandable foam fall out the drain hole in the bottom. And then once I came around to the front, I could see it on the top shelf here where it was pushing it out the hole. Once I got it busted up with my wire coat hanger, then I took my weed eater string and I tied me a knot towards the end of it. And then I ran the other end through and pulled that knot down through the top out the bottom to pull any small particles of foam through. And now I'm about to get a bottle of water and pour down into the hole and see, make sure everything runs like it should and that should solve the problem. Then I can start putting everything back together.